Hello there, this video will go over how to install Visual Studio Code in a Linux desktop on an Android. VS Code is a code editor that is used for many programming languages. If you are interested in Linux on an Android, then you may be interested in my playlist that will cover how to install and set up a Linux desktop on an Android without rooting. The first thing we need to do is find out the type of processor that the device has. So whether it is an Intel AMD processor or an ARM processor and whether it is 32-bit or 64-bit. We can do this from a terminal by entering in the command dpkg space dash dash print dash architecture. I will also have other commands for displaying processor information listed in the pinned comment for this video. Now we can open up a browser and go to code.visualstudio.com and then click on the download button where the downloads are listed. If you do not have a working browser, I will have steps on how to fix Firefox and Chromium in the pinned comment. Here we are going to select the .deb download that matches our device's processor. So the x64 is for the Intel AMD processor, and the ARM32 and ARM64 is for the ARM processor. For my example, I have an ARM64 bit processor, so I'm going to select the ARM64 download. Clicking on the download will navigate to the Getting Started page for VS Code as the download starts. Once the dev file is finished downloading, we can then install VS Code through the terminal. To do this, we can do cd space tilde slash downloads to navigate to the downloads folder or wherever the file is located on your device. After that, we can do ls space asterisk dot deb to list the files in the current directory that have dot deb in their name, so that way we can see the name of the file that we downloaded. Next, I recommend being online for this step because we are going to do sudo space apt space install space dot slash the file name dot dev. Dot slash means install the file from the current directory. In LX terminal, we can do control shift C on our keyboard to copy the file name and then do control shift V to paste it so that way we don't have to type it out. Keep in mind that we are installing software from outside of the repository, so if you are uncomfortable with this, then don't do it. During the install, we will want to make note of the package name below the line. The following new packages will be installed because the package name is how we will be able to find Visual Studio Code in apt and synaptic and is important for many other reasons. For this example, the package name is code. For any errors and warnings that we get while installing, we are just going to ignore those. Lastly, we need to edit the VS Code launch command by going to the menu, and in the programming section, we will right-click on Visual Studio Code, select Properties, and then go to the Desktop Entry tab. Here, we are going to go to the end of the already existing command and add space dash dash no dash sandbox, and then when we are done doing that, we can click on the OK button to save the change. Now we can open up VS Code by going to the menu, and in the programming category, we can click on Visual Studio Code. We'll want to give it a moment to start up, but after a moment, VS Code is ready to go. For more help and information about VS Code, we can go to the Help menu and select Documentation. This will open up the same getting started page that we saw earlier when we first downloaded VS Code and it is loaded with documentation, tutorials, YouTubes, and a lot more. VS Code can also be deleted if we would like. In this video, I will show how to delete it from a terminal and from the Synaptic Package Manager. Note that you can still keep the .deb file from earlier and put it into another folder and reinstall VS Code from it at any time if desired. To delete VS Code from a terminal, we will first do apt space list space code. This will list packages based on the name that we give it, and we can see that VS Code is installed. Now to actually delete VS Code, we can do sudo space apt space purge space code space dash y. This will remove the code package and therefore delete Visual Studio Code. Like we did with the install, we can ignore any warnings and errors that we get during and after the uninstall. 
Now to delete VS Code through Synaptic, we can click on the search button and search by name for code. Note that you can search by description and name for Visual Studio, however, it will take a lot longer. Now when code comes up, we can right click on it, select mark for complete removal, and then click on the apply button to uninstall code, and then click on apply again to confirm that we want to delete it. When VS Code is done uninstalling, we can ignore and close out of any errors, and then we can close out of Synaptic. When we close out of Synaptic, we can click on the Quit button in the Quit and Discard Marked Changes window. Whether we delete VS Code through the terminal or through Synaptic, we will need to delete the .desktop file for VS Code so that way we can get it off of the menu. For this example, to do it through File Manager PC Man FM, we will do Control H to show hidden files and folders. Hidden files and folders are just files and folders that start with a dot in their name. From there, starting in the home directory, we are going to go into the dot local folder, and then we will go into the share folder, and then finally we will go into the applications folder where we will select Visual Studio Code and then do Shift Delete on our keyboard, and then click on the Yes button to confirm that we want to delete Visual Studio Code from the applications folder. Now we can see that Visual Studio Code is no longer in the menu. Note that it is a ghost and will leave residual config files, however the program itself is deleted and it can be reinstalled if desired. If you enjoyed this video, then you may be interested in the companion book to this video, Linux on Android phones and tablets. And other than that, see you soon!